The MSC men's basketball team travels to Purdue and knocks off the Boilermakers 78-65 the final. Four Spartans score in double figures, led by Brandon Dawson's career-high 20 points. Michigan State moves into first place by itself, at least for a day, in the Big Ten. Dylan, what did you take away from this game? You know, Josh, it was a big win for Michigan State. Brandon Dawson came out in his food introduction, very similar to how Gary Harris was in Indiana a couple weeks ago. And he just really responded, you know, he, he did hear what was going on, but he, he, looked, he looked a little bit jittery in the first, but came out and he only had a couple of turnovers, only had one in the third. He finished with a clear eye 20 points. That's a solid day, and if Michigan State's going to claim the Big Ten this year, Brandon Dawson's going to have these things. Yeah, you know, I, I did feel, you know, when he lets the game come to him, I think he's a lot better than when he just tries to go one-on-one, -on -one. and he doesn't do that that often. The one part of his game that he's improved on a lot is his ball handling. That's been a, a blessing and a curse because I think he thinks he can take everybody, but teams play him that way. And, you know, it wasn't that he had so many turnovers. Uh, I don't even know how many he had. Uh, three, I guess that was the most. But it was, you know, when he let it come and we, we, we moved the ball side to side, then his slashing ability really benefited us. And, uh, and it was great to see him make those free throws, too. Uh, you know, that was... That was big time. Yeah, and also a big thing that's similarity uh, to the Indiana game, three Spartans in, in foul trouble. Keith Appling deals with it again, along with Adrian Payne and Gary Harris. But this time, Appling able to return to the game after getting the foul trouble and play smarter, make key plays down the stretch to carry them. They'll have to do that again in the Spartans' next game on Tuesday against Michigan, a big rivalry game. The Wolverines fall today. They're going to be looking to get back on track. It's going to be at Breslin Center. Dylan, what does Michigan State need to do? Big battle, Trey Burke, Keith Applin. What does Michigan State need to do to win that game? Well, I think you need to be balanced. You're not going to beat Trey Burke. He's, you know, he's one of the best point guards in the Big Ten and one of the best point guards in the country. So what you need to do is you need to settle down and you need to have a balanced scoring attack. You need Keith Applin, you need Brandon Dawson, you're going to need Gary Harris, and you're going to need turnovers to be cut to a minimum. Because, I mean, Michigan's a team that can, can beat a good team. They've done it time and time and time again this season. And, uh, you know, if you're going to win the Big Ten, if you're going to get, get a high seed in the tournament, if you're going to win a Big Ten championship, the road goes through Ann Arbor this year, and it's going to start in Lansing on Monday. It's a big, big game. Yeah, this is the, the second best start for an MSU team under Izzo. Only one win shy of a Final Four team with Zach Randolph and Jason Richardson. Uh, and a huge, huge game, maybe the biggest in this rivalry between Michigan and Michigan State in quite some time, taking place Tuesday. Michigan State gets a big win to help themselves be ready for that matchup. From Mackey Arena in West Lafayette, Indiana, this is Josh Van Seward, Dylan Davis, signing off for the State News.